Get ready to embark on an epic journey as we explore the breathtaking landscapes and hidden gems of the United States. From the towering waterfalls to the vibrant beaches, from lush green forests to white desert. Yeah, white! We're diving headfirst into an adventure of a lifetime. So grab your backpack and join us as we uncover the wonders of this beautiful country, one state at a time. Let's go! At number 10, we have California. Let's kick off our journey at Yosemite National Park. Located in the Sierra Nevada Mountains, the valley has famous attractions like Half Dome, El Capitan, and Yosemite Falls, which is the tallest waterfall in North America. And let's not forget about the massive sequoia groves. They're home to the biggest trees on Earth, giving a glimpse into ancient forests. Next, we have Lake Tahoe. Located in the Sierra Nevada Mountains at the border between California and Nevada, the lake has a diverse landscape that includes alpine meadows and snow-capped peaks. The lake is great for boating in summer, and perfect for skiing and snowboarding in winters. Heading a bit east to Mono Lake, where nature goes sci-fi. The Tufa formations appear like skyscrapers, but out of Earth. Reaching the heights of up to 40 feet. It's a surreal landscape that'll make you feel like you're on another planet. Now, let's hit the city vibes at Santa Monica Beach in Los Angeles. Sparkling blue waters and vibrant atmosphere. The Santa Monica Pier goes out into the ocean. You can find rides, games, restaurants, stores, and aquariums there. The sunset at the beach with orange, pink, and purple hue is something to behold. Yeah, and California is also home to this thing. At number 9, we have New Mexico. Our first stop in New Mexico is Carlsbad Caverns National Park. It's a beautiful subterrane in the Chihuahuan Desert. Dripping water has sculpted these cave formations over millions of years. It's a glimpse into the hidden world beneath our feet. Second, we have White Sands National Park. Yep, still in the Chihuahuan Desert, but forget what you know about deserts. The landscape is formed by washed-down gypsum from the surrounding mountains. Unlike your usual image of a desert, it's a white canvas, stretching as far as the eyes can see. Next is the Denazan Wilderness, a stunning landscape of eroded badlands, located in the San Juan Basin. Wind and water has sculpted these outworldly formations over millions of years. What do you think they look like? Drop your thoughts in the comments. Time travel. Anyone? Bandelier National Monument is our next spot. Preserving the cultural and ancestral legacy of the Puebloan people. A glimpse into the lives of Puebloans, who thrived in the region from 1150 to 1550 AD. Chaco Culture, National Historical Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is next on our list. Preserving the remnants of a civilization that flourished from 9th to 13th century. It's located in northwestern New Mexico. This is a time-specific one that I find interesting. The Albuquerque International Balloon Fiesta. The largest balloon event in North America, spanning over nine days, in October. Besides the balloons, the fiesta has a fun atmosphere. Events, food, music, and activities makes it a great experience. At number eight, we have Nevada. First on our list is Valley of Fire State Park. Sunset paints the landscape in fiery hue. So, earning its name. Perfect for capturing stunning shots. Experience camping, rock climbing, and exploring hidden caves. And the amazing thing is, in winters, you get a sandy desert and a snowy terrain combined. Now, let's hit the dazzling Las Vegas Strip. Neon lights, casinos, and non-stop entertainment, it's a haven for foodies too. Eiffel Tower experience, gondola rides at the Venetian, and a volcano at the Mirage, themed attractions, that promises to transport you, to different corners of the globe. Next is, the Las Vegas Sphere, a first of its kind spherical entertainment venue. At 516 feet, it's a visual marvel with LED screens wrapping its entire surface. From concerts to sporting events, the immersive experience here, blurs the line between reality and the virtual world. The High Roller is next on our list, the tallest observation wheel in the Western Hemisphere. Experience panoramic views of the Las Vegas Strip, the Sphere, and iconic landmarks like the Bellagio Fountains, Stratosphere Tower, and the entire cityscape. And our last spot is, the Hoover Dam. People traveling in Nevada or Arizona, visit here by default, anyways. Located at the border between Nevada and Arizona, it's accessible from either of the states. Constructed between 1931 and 1936, it's a symbol of human ingenuity. It's not the biggest dam in the world, but it does feel grand. Hey! Subscribe to this channel to enjoy more videos like this, and don't forget to press the bell icon. At number 7, we have Hawaii. First up is the Diamond Head State Monument in Oahu. 
It's a volcanic mountain formed over 300,000 years ago, named after the calcite crystals found on its inner slopes. It's a bit of a thigh burner, but the view from the top is worth every step. Now, buckle up for Napali Coast State Park. Breathtaking cliffs, heartwarming waterfalls, and hidden, secluded beaches. The Kalalau Trail is like a VIP pass to this coastal heaven. Oh, and getting there? Boat, plane, or good old hiking, take your pick. History buffs, this one's for you. The USS Arizona Memorial. A solemn tribute to the sailors and marines, killed during the attack on Pearl Harbor by Japan on December 7, 1941. It's not just a visit, it's a must in Honolulu. Time to rewind to ancient Hawaii, at Pohonua Ohonaunau National Historical Park. Imagine a sanctuary for rule breakers in the old Hawaiian days. The temples, the structures, and a peek into the spiritual life of pre-contact Hawaiians. It's like stepping back in time. And, for the beach lovers, Waikiki Beach is a good one. But hold on, Papakolia Beach is the real hidden gem, one of the only four green sand beaches in the world. A three-mile hike or a dirt road drive, but still a paradise that adventurers can't resist. At number six, we have New Jersey. First on our list is Delaware Water Gap, National Recreation Area. The Delaware River steals the show here, perfect for boat tours. Lush vibrant vegetation and waterfalls are eye-pleasing. And the park's highest peak, Mount Tammany, with views of the surrounding countryside and the Delaware River below. Pack a picnic or set up camp and let nature do its magic. Now, buckle up for Ellis Island, now a national monument and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's a reminder of the nation's rich immigrant heritage and the American dream of many. Also, due to its proximity, the island offers stunning views of the Statue of Liberty and the New York City skyline. Moving on to Robbinsville, we've Swami Naran Akshar Dam. Not to confuse it with the Swami Naran Akshar Dam in New Delhi. Recently inaugurated in 2023, it's the largest Hindu temple outside of India. Beyond the central mandir, the complex offers a welcome center, a museum, a pool, surrounded by lush gardens and walkways. It's a masterpiece sculpted from hand-carved pink sandstone, showcasing the traditional Vedic architecture of India. And lastly, we have Wildwood Beach. Renowned for its vibrant boardwalk, classic amusement rides, and nostalgic charm. Thrill-seekers can experience the wooden roller coasters. Families can create lasting memories at amusement parks like Maury's Piers. And Wildwood Beach is a vibrant artwork at night, illuminated by colorful lightings. At number 5, we have Florida. Starting with the incredible Ocala National Forest, one of the biggest forests in the east of the good old Mississippi. Consider visiting the Ocala National Forest Visitor Center and Juniper Springs while you're here. They're the icing on the cake. Now, let me tell you about Devil's Den Spring. This place is a scuba heaven. Located in Williston, there are fossil beds that has preserved ancient creatures like a time capsule. Pretty cool, right? Time for a history lesson. Fort Jefferson, standing still since the 1800s. Built to shield the Florida Keys and the Gulf of Mexico. Turns out, it was never used for its intended purpose but ended up as a prison during the Civil War. Now, it's a hot spot for travelers like you. Ready for liftoff? Head to the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. It's like a space nerd's dream come true. You will witness space history and see famous spacecraft up close. Mind-blowing stuff. And finally, Orlando. Brace yourself for theme park mania. We're talking about Walt Disney World Resort. Universal Orlando Resort and SeaWorld Orlando. It's a city of fun. Oh, and don't even think about skipping the beaches. Miami Beach and Clearwater Beach are pure bliss for those who like to sunbathe. Get out there and soak up those rays. At number four, we have South Carolina. First on our list is the Table Rock State Park, located in the Blue Ridge Mountains. Pitch your tent or rent a cabin and wake up to the sounds of birdsong. As night falls, witness a mesmerizing display of stars in the park's dark skies. And don't miss the Pinnacle Lake, a perfect spot for swimming and boating. Talking of lakes, Lake Kiowi is our next spot. Experience the thrill of sailing on the lake. Choose from various lakeside cabins, cozy cottages, and luxurious resorts. Go hiking or biking, explore the picturesque trails, offering panoramic views of the lake and the Blue Ridge Mountains. Next, we have Charleston, the city with history, culture, and coastal vibes. Hit up the Charleston Museum, stroll along the iconic battery. Yep, you heard it right, battery. And soak in panoramic views of the harbor and the Atlantic Ocean. Then we have Fort Sumter National Monument at Charleston Harbor. 
symbolizing the beginnings of the Civil War. On April 12, 1861, Confederate forces fired upon Fort Sumter, marking the start of the Civil War. It offers not just history but panoramic views of Charleston Harbor and the city skyline. And lastly, we have Myrtle Beach. The iconic Myrtle Beach boardwalk is lined with arcades, shops, restaurants, and amusement parks. Exciting dolphin watching cruises, explore underwater with scuba diving, or just take a boat tour. As the sun sets, the beach transforms into an electrifying hub, with lively bars, nightclubs, and live music venues. At number 3, we have New York. First on our list in New York is the Niagara Falls. No need for an introduction, right? It's situated at the border between the United States and Canada, plunging over 160 feet. It's composed of three distinct waterfalls, the Horseshoe Falls, the American Falls, and the Bridal Veil Falls. It's a must visit. Now, let's go underground at Howe Caverns in the Schoharie Hills. You can explore interconnected chambers with structures shaped by dripping water over millions of years. The Crystal Room is a captivating part of the cave with beautiful lights and reflections. Oh, and did I mention there's a waterfall inside? Cool, right? Next is the Statue of Liberty, located at the Liberty Island in New York Harbor. It was gifted to the United States by France in 1886. You can climb the staircase with 215 steps to the statue's crown, so you can enjoy the panoramic view of New York City. Beach Time Coney Island Beach in Brooklyn is a beautiful stretch of sand along the Atlantic Ocean. The vintage Ferris wheel from 1920 gives amazing views of the beach and the city, and the wooden cyclone roller coaster from 1927 offers a thrilling ride. The beach is a popular place with both old-fashioned and modern things, and has a nostalgic charm. Then we have Mohonk Mountain House. It's a Victorian-era castle nestled amidst the greenery of the Catskill Mountains. This resort was built in 1869 which makes it older than the Statue of Liberty. The resort features a blend of Romanesque and Venetian architecture. And the signature Mohonk Lake is perfect for a little boat ride. And, of course, the Times Square and Central Park. Because, let's be real, you can't visit New York without visiting them. At number 2, we have Arizona. Our first spot in Arizona is the Mooney Falls. Nestled in the Havasupai Indian Reservation, a 200-foot waterfall cascades into a crystal-clear pool. It's a bit of a hike. Eight miles to be precise, but trust me, the views are worth it. Second on our list is the Horseshoe Bend, a masterpiece on the Colorado River. The river's serpentine curve, resembling a horseshoe, is carved over millions of years. Sunrise and sunset are the best times to visit when the canyon gets a warm glow, and it's a sight to behold. Next, we have Antelope Canyon. Wind and water carved this place over millions of years, creating vibrant swirling sandstone walls. But here's the deal, you need a guided tour to access Antelope Canyon. Trust the experts, it's worth every step. Lake Powell is next on our list, a reservoir created by the Glen Canyon Dam. Boating, kayaking, or just chilling, it's a place you would want to be at. As the sun dips below the horizon, the lake turns into a canvas of fiery colors, reflecting the sky. And nights here are a stargazer's dream come true. And lastly, we have Hoover Dam. Yeah, again. I mentioned it in the Nevada part as well, as you may remember. Located at the border between Arizona and Nevada, it's accessible from either of the states. And, at number one, we have Texas. Our first spot in Texas is the Dinosaur Valley State Park. Nestled along the banks of the Paluxy River, the park unveils fossilized tracks preserved in the limestone. It's like a real-life Jurassic Park, minus the danger. Second, we have Hamilton Pool Preserve, with a stunning oasis of turquoise waters and cascading waterfalls. The pool's centerpiece is a majestic grotto, adorned with a 50-foot waterfall. In the city of Houston, we have two spots. Space Center Houston and Houston Museum of Natural Science. Space Center Houston is the visitor's area of NASA's Johnson Space Center. You get to experience spacecraft, rocket tech, and the marvels of human ingenuity. And if dinosaurs are your jam, Houston Museum of Natural Science has towering skeletons, giving us a glimpse into the prehistoric past of our planet. Heading to San Antonio River Walk, which offers us a beautiful network of walkways, canals, and bridges. Charming cafes and restaurants line the banks of the river. The river walk completely transforms at night, illuminated by twinkling lights and shimmering reflections on the water. And speaking of life, we have Galveston Island, a barrier island off the coast of Texas. 
Relax at the sandy shores of Galveston beaches. Step back in time at the Strand Historic District with Victorian-era buildings. Thrill-seekers can experience the iconic Pleasure Pier, featuring a variety of rides. And train lovers might want to visit the Galveston Railroad Museum with vintage locomotives. Hey! Let us know your favorite place from the video in the comments. And to watch more, click on any of these videos.